Welcome back to Anderson Acres. It's kind of a blustery day outside, so I thought we would stay inside today and talk about another chicken breed. This one is a fun and fluffy one. I'm talking about the Cochin. I adore Cochins. They're hilarious. They're fluffy. They've got these fluffy, fluffy feet, and I love silkies, so I love Cochins because fluffy feet, they're crazy. I love fluffy feet. So the Cochin was originally imported into Europe from Asia around the 1940s, and then they spread from there. They're quite popular because they are fantastic. The colors were not originally as refined as they are now, but it didn't take long for breeders to take care of that. First the buff emerged, and then the partridge emerged later, then the other colors. It really didn't take long because... It's actually really easy with Cochins to isolate colors and then breed for those specific colors. There is a Bantam version. In the UK, that Bantam Cochin is actually called a Peckin Cochin. So they're, they're the same bird, but they're just called something different. The Bantam looks almost identical to the adult. There are a couple of small differences, but not a lot. They both are fluffy. They have those nice feathered feet. They're just really awesome. The, the Bantam version, I really do recommend for first-time chicken keepers because they're small, they're sweet, and they're fluffy. So if you're looking to get into chickens and you haven't had a lot of experience, um, a Bantam Cochin might be the way to go. The standard Cochin are just as sweet and just as fluffy. They're just bigger. So if you are looking for a bigger bird, but one that is pretty laid back, the Cochin might be the way to go. Both sizes do have feathered feet. And both sizes are used for their eggs because even the Bantam version lays pretty well. The larger size can also be used for meat. So if you're looking for a dual purpose breed, the standard Cochin might be for you. There are a variety of colors today that didn't always exist. Buff is the most common in North America. Uh, partridge is awesome, but requires double mating. If you're not familiar with double mating, it's basically keeping two separate strains of the same breed and it can be kind of annoying and a little bit finicky, but to get a really good representation of a partridge cochin, double mating is required. You can Google double mating and learn a little bit more about it if you like. I might eventually do a video that's specifically about double mating, but not today. Uh, white is the easiest color to breed, and it's also the most common color in the UK. They're the standard in the UK. The only problem with whites are their feathers are easily discolored by both the sun and by an incorrect diet. So if you see a white cochin that's actually kind of yellowed, he either spent too much time in the sun or he was fed the wrong things. You can also have black, blue, cuckoo, grouse. There's quite a few different colors for cochins, and they're quite amazing and a lot of fun. The feathered feet can be a complication for some people because if they're running around in a muddy run, it is difficult to get those feet clean. So if you are going to have cochins or really any feathered footed breed, then you probably are going to want to keep a fairly dry run with less mud. So you might consider sand, you might consider uh, mulch, something where you don't have a lot of muck. Because if you have to clean muckied feathered feet, it's actually really annoying and it can be uncomfortable for the bird. They can get little balls of mud stuck to their feathers and it, it's not good for them. So if you are going to have a feathered footed breed, try to keep your run as dry as possible. They are decent layers. I mean, they're not super layers, but they're good enough. They lay about 150 to 200 eggs per year and the eggs are tinted. So they're not a bright white. They're also not a brown. So they're kind of in the middle. But uh, they can be used for their eggs because they do lay enough for that. But they're not primarily kept for eggs today. They're often kept as an exhibition breed. They are docile and friendly and really good with kids. So again, if you are looking to get into chickens and you have children or you have people who are not familiar with chickens and are a little bit nervous, the Cochin might be a good bird because they are pretty laid back. They are pretty docile. And they're also really attractive and a lot of fun. So this is a good starter breed for a lot of people. That's about it for us here at Anderson Acres today. We'll see you tomorrow.